Hey guys, I'm back. So, I've been kind of, I just recorded an episode. I'm probably gonna go ahead and start it over because really, I, the background music was a lot louder than it, I wanted it to be, so it was kind of hard to hear me talking over it. So, pretty much gonna sum up the intro because it was actually pretty long, I didn't want to take your time. This is Mighty Number no. 9. I'll explain more about the game as we get through it, since I explained a lot of it in the beginning. But, I played through a lot of this game. It wasn't a well received game. But I really like it and nonetheless. I beat the first boss and the intro stage, so I'm gonna just delete that and start over. There's a lot of story that those give you that is hard to skip. So one problem with the story was this one problem with this it game was the, the story. Year. It's pretty boring. The story is unoriginal, it's uninspired, but it's that's not the main start of this game. No. The game is mostly about the gameplay. It's about Professor! the difficulty in the platforming challenge and it's a lot of fun uh, so pretty much the story i'll sum it up at the beginning of what we've learned so far robots have certain malfunctioning but you are not still functioning in proper order so it's they want you to go ahead and f go through and try to figure out what's wrong right now we're going on to our friend dr sand sander's lab because he is right now in trouble being seized by robots and he wants he needs to help him out here So, well, before we get into the fight, it's just like a classic Mega Man game. You run and you gun, and it's a lot of fun. You, you're gonna get it right, right now. I can't dash, but you're gonna. I'm gonna get a dash in this next section. Skip this as well. They're gonna explain how to do this. So you weaken them and then you dash through them to absorb the cells. Did you just absorb the cells of a weakened robot? So pretty much what Dr. White was saying is He absorbed you he gave you the ability to absorb cells, but he didn't realize it was functional yet. So the goal of this game is to go through and absorb the cells of weakened robots because they're malfunctioning and the well it looks like we're destroying I can destroying them. That's probably because they seem to be just helper robots. They're not really They're not really capable of thought and free will like the my numbers. As you can tell, they they, they feel like real people. Well these are just kinda like that. But you actually don't destroy the mighty numbers when you beat them. You actually go ahead and you build yourself and in essence you're them. Of their ailment. We're already on our way. You can try to hold them off as best you can. These guys, I don't know if you actually destroy them or whatever. It kind of looks like you're destroying them. That's just because you know they disappear. The main thing is they disappear. So get them all lined up and then take them out in one fell swoop. So pretty much this game is all about speeding through, getting the most highest level score, which is pretty interesting considering all things. You get a bunch of bonuses for going through areas fast, as you saw, before I got the bonus for Sprinter, as soon as I got through this level 3 fast. But there's other bonuses for getting through difficult sections, particularly a good time. There's power-ups, there's power for example, green is speed, the red is power, and the yellow is defense. As you see, I'm actually moving quite fast, which is a kind of bonus. Uh, if you play this game well, it's supposed to be like Here a reward, just speed. Here we go. Which I think is a really good feeling. Here we go. Power right. allows your shots to do more damage, and they actually get a Sonda. piercing effect. Sonda, are you still there? They do more damage and they pierce through what enemies, so you can hit multiple enemies, but usually your shot starts on the first enemy. A demolition unit. How on earth did it manage to get down there? So yeah, pretty much while he's talking, I'm not talking Back to myself. Quickly. So pretty much stop it. each of these bosses have malfunctions, and you're gonna sift through the when you defeat them, you're able to assimilate their data, which will allow you to cure them of their malfunctioning. So pretty much with these robots, you gotta go ahead and take them out. There's five play bonuses for certain fine plays, which what, what they are is defined by them. And if you see, they're going purple and taking that. Like the other ones, they're not. I can absorb the cell, and they're not going right away, disappearing. 
which is something to be considered interesting. This boss is super easy. I took it out really fast. Come on. But if you don't take start absorbing yeah. those elves as soon as they turn purple, they're gonna slowly heal and heal and heal. So it's different in a way of the other robots. The other, the other robots, you assimilate them, they disappear. These guys see them disappear, so obviously. When you go through in the beginning of the match and they introduced him, they showed him having a certain amount of cells. So I feel like more powerful robots with more cells and more complex circuitry and all that, they can't be destroyed. They're not destroyed. The main enemies I think they're destroyed because they're just low level cells. They don't give you much of a bonus when you take them down. You get the attack bonus, the speed bonus, the defense bonus. But they kind of just disappear. I think that's because they're weaker, non thinking beings. These more powerful beings, like the Mighty Number no. 9s, actually seem to have their own kind of ideas and thoughts. They seem to be almost like people, like I said. Which is why I think they are destroyed. Instead, you're saving them. What's really cool about this game is you can go through any boss you want. Each level, I made it look pretty easy, the first stage, which it's pretty easy, but it actually gets pretty you difficult. And you should expect then. to die quite a bit. In this stage, actually, I, this is one of the stages I played first when I went through my playthrough, and I was so bad at it. I died so much. It's actually really difficult. So you see, I'm throwing them and you see 100 stands for combo. You can get all these extra combos. You get more points for absorbing them immediately. And the idea is to get as big of a score as possible. And you get, if you get more than one at once, like, for example, this will be this team coming up too, where I get them all at once. I get bonus for getting more and more at once. Here we go. Good. You see, like, the, the bonus is, like, good, great, excellent. Well, you get more and more enemies in a row. So the goal is to kind of, in this game, is to build up as much skill as possible. Here we go. Okay, so I missed that guy, but like I said, this game is very much so based on speed, so I'm not going to worry about it. There's a lot of hidden areas like this, and a lot of the games kind of like feels kind of cheap sometimes. Like this, if you hit your head on this when you jump, you'll just knock down and die. But this, oh, see like that? I almost died. Oh, like you see, I won't make that jump back, which would instantly kill me. I'd fall into it, and I wouldn't be able to get back up. And so this game can definitely be quite difficult. But because I've noticed that, I've played this game before, I've actually suffered through that death quite a few times. I understand that's how to avoid it. Some people say these levels are uninspired. I think they're clever enough for what they are. If you think about it, I mean, it's not that difficult once you get used to it. It's not super creative. It's a power plant. There's nothing to say much about the character that's in it. But, so, actually, if you didn't know, the first boss we're going to be facing is, uh, Dynatron, and she absorbs electricity, so that's what she's doing here, she's absorbing electricity. So, each level actually gets easier, because there's all these certain, there's certain characters that help you with each stage. Some powers are not as useful as others on other stages, and some people have deemed certain powers completely useless. Which I think it's rather... In, Quality, so whatever that word is, I feel like people just don't understand all these powers that well. They don't take the time to look through them and get to know them. But they actually, like you said, like I said before, I got points for quick clear. So I'm gonna take a break here to talk about it because there's a lot going on in the next section, and I feel like talking a lot in the sections that a lot of actions don't get the point across. So in each stage, there's a boss who has a certain weakness, but in that stage also, that power helps you get through that stage faster. And I'm gonna explain that later on in other levels, is like more as I get different powers. This level, this part of the stage is just pretty noisy, so I didn't want to start trying to talk over it, so excuse me for that. That's more like it. Here we go. So, go Bring it on. Go I'll use extra points to get more scores like for getting the goods for the bonus. Here we go. <laughs> it's kind of annoying after a while because it gets too loud. So another complaint about this actual game is there's a lot of instant death sections. Here we go. For example, if you fall into the fight, it's death no matter what. You're just dead. Game over. That's Not really. You actually lose life and you start back from the last checkpoint, but it can be annoying and easy to get game over after a certain point if you're rushing through it. 
That's and there's some like areas like in this level, you're going to introduce you to the crouch dash, which is going to be a very uh, useful dash. Oh, that's yeah. more like just barely to make enough distance. But yeah, the crouch dash allows you to jump that's over any fire. Like they allow you to do sort of obstacles, which can be pretty hard to get that's otherwise. And in this level, where they introduce the crouch dash. Uh, see, if I got in forward and just dash, I would have died. It took a while for that to pop up, which is a little bit frustrating. So if you don't, hit, if you hit this, you die instantly and get back to the attack point. You have the, and it's really pixel perfect. It's really hard to do. So I might mess it up. I might, but I actually got him really good at it. And you see, if you do it like fast like that, more points for you. I think that's cool. They reward you for getting good at the game, which I think is really cool. Bring it on. So the better you are at the game, the more points you can get, and the better you can get on these levels. So in things like the boss, it's going to be really hard, really going to be really hard to get through re really fast and effectively. So, Professor Sanda is essentially a big wimp. He's not really all that cool. He's kind of spineless, and that's kind of the playoff. Dr. White's supposed to be really... Not really brave, but calm and collected all the time. Whereas he's kind of goofy and scared and all that. Whereas, okay, so we're about to get in the boss gate, so let's take a second to talk. I have a blue power up right now, so I can restore my health as soon as I get it. As soon as I get low enough, I can hit the back button and restore my health. This will tell you about how far you're on to getting it. You can get a second one, but you can't get it through absorbing enemies. So essentially you can get two health tanks or four you up, which is very good in the end. Very helpful against these bosses, especially when you don't have any powers. So cool hit is she's just all about electricity. But she's a floaty character, which can be annoying because your shots if you don't aim jump will go right underneath her. She shoots those electric barbs, which she can run her electricity through. So later on you'll be able to have, you'll be able to get shots that aren't just straightforward. Which will allow you to kind of like do get, destroy them like that. This is bad. Yeah. See, I just took a whole bunch of damage from that because she lined the whole floor with it. Oh yeah. Once again, you want to make sure you're getting them to the purple when you can hit them. See that? Oh no. Okay, good. She's going to that side now, because that's where they are. I was thinking, there was no way I was going to be able to dodge in that well if I was right there and she was on the other side. <laughs> so she'll occasionally go ahead and just dash at you, which is actually the easiest way to get damage on her. So, sometimes it's just better to go ahead and... Oh, I could have been doing a bunch of damage there, but I was so paranoid. So you can destroy the ones on certain levels. Oh, okay. So, when they're decelerated like that, I forget the exact word I'm trying to use, but when those cells are disrupted, you can kind of do a lot of damage there. So, there's no way you're going to avoid damage when she has five of them like that. Even if you're against the wall completely, it's still going to damage you. These are actually different. Oh. Oh, good. I got it away in the last moment. So I'm going to try to destroy it as I can, and if she flies over here, yeah, I'm not going to be able to avoid it. Yeah, there's no way I was going to be able to avoid any, all that damage, but I avoid it as much as I can, which I think is at least crazy worthy in its own right, considering how hard it can be to dodge it. Uh, so the point is, you kind of want to, for this boss, you're going to want to get to a point where you get it all on one side, and hope she shoots on that side. So the ones that are going blue are actually special. They not only conduct electricity, but they shoot out their own bolts. Okay. Okay, good. I was about to say, is she gonna go ahead and start doing it now? Oh, I was on the other side now, so I'm pretty much screwed. So yeah, sometimes you can get hit twice if you're really unlucky. But, I played through this enough. So I'm hoping, yeah, she'll get, hopefully she's gonna, oh no. Okay, that's probably the best time to get damage on her. So, yeah, like I said, you're gonna wanna go and get her into that one corner. Okay, you wanna get all the Zells in one corner. So I'm, if I take too much more damage, I'm probably gonna lose. Oh no. 
Yeah, so I'm not gonna avoid. I might die here. Okay, no. Oh, 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 oh. Phew. Oh, I was so worried I was gonna get out of there. I thought I was gonna lose at the very last moment of it. Huh. So yeah, you see, I beat this on my first try. The first time I tried it when I first started playing. Back, you Zayd. Yeah, she's like 50, so it's kind of funny. They actually play off the each character has their own unique personality, and that kind of affects how they go berserk. So I'm probably not gonna get an A like I did on the first stage because it took so much time. A B, that's not bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, show you this. You beat the stage, you absorb the enemy power, and then you get to turn into them. Dynatron might be my favorite power. It's not the best power, but I really like how it works. So Cole's back up and running, that's what they're pretty much telling you, they're talking about this. All right. So I wish Richard I could get the music Daddy. a bit lower, it's but hopefully it's not too bad. Rampaging bots. So yeah, we gotta stop those rampaging bots, but we're gonna continue with that, with that next time. A quick recap to end this episode. Thank you guys for your patience if you guys have been waiting, if not, well, welcome to the channel if you're new. So this game isn't as cool, a lot like Mega Man, but it has its own identity, I believe. And I feel people really compare it too highly to what Mega Man was at its height. If you go back and play the first Mega Man game, a lot of the problems with the first Mega Man game is in this game. And surely maybe you'll say, hey, they had the one of the creators behind Mega Man. They had all the time in the world to do this. And I feel like, yeah, maybe they messed up the first game a bit. It's not as fun as it could have been. I still think it's a worthwhile chance. I wish you I hope you guys, after seeing this, maybe think it looks interesting and we'll try it yourself and I think if they create a second game after the big beating with verbal abuse they got from all the fans that they create a second game and they improve it and they make something out of this series that people will love so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys next time I hope that soon school is ending so I should be able to be more frequent but mostly it's gonna be Sundays and days I really have the time well thank you guys for watching and have a great day I said that already I'm awkward like that. Peace out.